Good morning. Good morning. We're at Epcot today, wandering around. We have a few things that we want to do. And one of them is Cosmic Rewind, but it's currently down. So that's a little disappointing, but we've got other stuff on our list of stuff to do. So we're going to start our day by doing a little bit of shopping. Yeah, we haven't been here in a while, so it's time to take a look at some of the new merch and stuff. Yeah. Huh. Where are we headed first? Day. It is a slow day. It's nice. And but it's, it's that time of year. Things have slowed down a little bit, you know? So, and it's perfect out. Like, it's nice and cool out. So, let's wander around. Where are we starting our shopping excursion today? Creation Shop. All right, let's go. First stop, Creation Shop. I don't know what is new. It's been a little, little bit. We've been a little under the weather. I know you guys aren't necessarily privy to that because we've had some other stuff going on here on the channel, but... Let's uh, take a look and see what new merch is around here at Epcot today. Well, and that's the thing is, we're not sure 100% if there's anything new here, but we definitely know there's a lot of new figment stuff, so we'll have to definitely make our way over there too. Yeah, so let's do a quick wander around, see what we can find. Huh. So we've been wandering around, not a ton of new stuff. We see the stuff for food and wine, and some stuff for Halloween. I really stumbled much. upon this. 24 bucks. It's glassware. It's mouseware. Mouseware. So, yeah. So, two pieces. Glass, glass not dishwasher safe though. Mm, too bad. It's so, this how much is it? 24? 24 for two pieces. That's not bad. I actually really like these things. They have another set over here that I like. Which are these airtight containers. Um, this one is 24 and they have another one for coffee down here. I actually could... I could use this. That one? The airtight coffee container? Yeah. Maybe we'll come back for you later, bud. Check this out. We use those all the time. Oh, yeah, we do. I love these. These are great for the parks as well. So there's six in here? That's quite a few. 20 bucks. That's, that's, that's a good. great price for this. They do feel durable. We have ones that are just like this. These are great for the parks, especially if you like to bring lots of Ziploc bags to put your phone in or snacks in. I would definitely, definitely get that. I might be coming back for that. So Russ just told me this is the new Peter Pan set, which is pretty cool. I like the color. Oh, there's the back, yeah. Lost Boys. And they have a wallet as well. I love these wallets with the strap. Very nice. It's cute stuff. It is cute. Speaking of Dooney and Burke, we do have these for food and wine. I think these are so cute. I'm glad that when it brings back big bags though. Yeah, like the tote? Yeah. Same on both sides. And then I think it's got a cute little design inside as well. These bags are kind of pricey, so this is $2.98 but it's a, it's a big bag. They also have this small one, which is really cute. I haven't seen this shape before. This is 198. Really cute. No wallet though. Too bad. So I definitely would pick that up. I want the lamp. You want the lamp? I want the lamp. Show me what lamp we're talking about. See? That lamp. See, even he wants the lamp. All right, so it's, it's 100 bucks. It's, it's pretty cool if you're into that kind of thing. It's very big. And is this a... That's cool. I really like that. USB plug. Yeah, USB powered now. That's interesting. The world's changing, man. Here it is. I've been wanting to take a look at this bag. Oh my god. That is adorable. That's that is cute. so cute. Now this one is $88. Here's my problem with this bag though, because I very much want this bag. The problem is you use your bag. I do. And the fact that this is like, I don't know, it's all bendy, it needs to be out. And then this as well. Oh, I'm gonna have to think about this one. I feel like if I'm gonna buy one, I need to really look through to make oh, sure yeah. that the Here's a perfect example the of, wings. well, not even the wings, but look at the bend in this one. Yeah. You gotta be careful. 
So if you are looking into buying this bag, I think you have to really, really keep an eye out so you don't get one that's bent or whatever. Hmm, lots to think about with that bag. But these ears. These ears. <laughs> these are so cute. How much are these? Forty dollars. Forty dollars? They're not even that heavy. How cute are those? I do like these. This was on my list of things that I might get. Because I do like Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Yeah. That's really cute. We'll have to see. Lots to think about today. Alright, so we saw some new stuff in there. I like the new mousewear stuff. That's really cute. I do like those baggies. I like all of it. Like I think it's it's practical stuff. Like you could actually buy on your trip and use on your trip. Yeah. Which I appreciate because we don't get enough of that stuff in the parks. But it's nice that we're seeing more of it. Feels yeah. like they're definitely bringing more of it out. You know, like with the Tupperware and everything. Yeah, and so, the prices aren't ridiculous. No. I don't think so. But anyway, now heading over to the Imagination Pavilion because there is new merch there for Figment. Also, Guardians still down. And Monorail. See, we didn't miss it. Ah. Right there. Monorail. Monorail. Also, big news. Some of the construction walls have come down for Journey of Water. We will get there and we will check it out when we walk by. Not right now though. Like I said, headed to Figment. Five minute wait. That's what I like to see. Let's head on in. I mean, of course, we could have just gone to the shop. But we have to say hi to Figment. Of course. I haven't said hi for so long. It feels like forever. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our special drive through open house. I'm Dr. Nigel Channing, chairman of the Imagination Institute. Hello. On your tour, you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, can I go too? Can start appearing, and each of us imagines different things. From just a sound, your mind has wings. It's going on. You're turning this entire open house upside down. Upside down? Now you're talking. That's the best idea you've had all day. See, imagination works the best when it's set free. You said it, Doc. Imagination is a blast. Okay, we just got off Figment, said hello, of course, and now we're here. And as you can see, this area right in front of us is fully closed off. So this used to be a meet and greet. Well, first of all, we're looking at the little play area, which by the way, here, you can make your own figment and email it to yourself, which we've done. It is so cool. It is not touch screen. Nope. You have to use old school. Ball and mouse. Yeah. But it's really cool. But anyway, we turn this way. You can see this whole area that was once a meet and greet is all blocked off. I think that that is where the figment meet and greet is going to be. Right. So you have, you have, um, oh my god. What's Inside Out for you Imagination have, Link. Yeah, you have, you have Inside Out. The you Link. Have the Link from uh, Wreck-It Ralph. And, and you're then. And have Figment. Is she crushed your fingers because you're still not sure? Just saying. Know. Okay, now that we've taken a look at that, Let's take a look at the merch here in this gift shop because it looks like we have new merchandise for Figment. So here's some of the stuff that's been around for a while. I think that's really cute. You know what's funny? Did you notice that in this piece of artwork we have the Dreamfinder's vehicle but no Dreamfinder? Who's driving it? Wow, why is that? That's weird. They've erased the Dreamfinder. Not cool. Anyway. Check out these coffee mugs. These are really cute. 
I like that. Got a little saucer and the mug. How much is this one? $24.99. Not too bad. Then we have a new ladies t-shirt. It's got these big wide sleeves, which is nice. And I'm not a huge fan of this. Of course, I've had to adapt to the crop top situation because that's the world we now live in. Okay, right, let's see what else we have. First of all, can I just say that now that I've been wearing these shoes, I feel like I might need these socks. I could have sworn you had those socks. I don't. Yeah. Oh, I don't even know how much they are, but I... Priceless, Catherine. I might They're need priceless. them. I might need to get a pair of those socks. <laughs> oh, look. Those are new. This is new? Yeah. I like those earrings a lot better than... The other ones, these definitely look like figment. Yeah. The other ones, they're a little bit weird, but these are cool. How much are these? 26? Okay, so this is the new hoodie. It's not as good as the hoodie I have, I'll tell you. I do like that it has a really cute zipper. Here's the detail on the front. And then on the back, here's, here's the thing though. Can you take a quick look? It looks distressed, which is fine, but I don't feel like this is gonna last. It looks looks like it's gonna look old really quickly. Let's see, what's the price on this? This one is $64.99. Check that out, they even have leggings. We got figment over here. Let your imagination soar on the other one. These are not like compression leggings though, they're really soft. $39.99. Looks like we also have a long sleeve over here. This one is $36.99. Is there on the back? I don't think so. Nope, nothing on the back. And then of course, of course, we have this hat. You've not pulled the trigger on this hat. I have not. The return of plush, ridiculous hats is something I'm loving. I took a picture with the hat. Yep. But I have not bought the hat. No, not yet. Don't know if I'm going to buy the hat. But you can wear the socks and the hat. I could, with my hoodie. With your hoodie. I have a whole figment outfit. You could. Locked and loaded. I just need to commit. So there's definitely some cute stuff in there. I like some of the new merch. I don't know how I feel about that hoodie, even though I really like the pull, like the zipper pull. It looks cheap. And it's not a cheap price for that hoodie. How much so, is it? It was like $65. It's normal hoodie prices now. Yeah, but. I know. They could have done better. Better quality. For that price. Anyway, Guardians is back up. Making our way over there now. Going back in the steps. To ride in today. before we. You're always getting your steps in at Disney. You know? I love it. It's beautiful out today, though. It is. It's gorgeous. <laughs> it's unreal. All right, here we go. This is the virtual key on this side. We could not have reached you so easily were it not for the Cosmic Generator, an advanced piece of Zandarian technology that creates jump points. I know I say it every time we go on. What did you think? I love the fact that we ended up actually getting row 10. Yes, great so, row. So first and foremost, everyone needs to know, row 10 is the best row to be on for that ride. Period. Well, there are other great rows. No, in the middle, the like it rocks and rolls a little bit, but in row 10, like it really whips. Whips around pretty good. So. And we had a great song. 
Yeah, everybody wants to rule the world. Yep, it's a great which song. Which is, it's a slower song, and you think that that wouldn't be good, but because it's slower, I feel yep. like it makes the ride feel faster. Yep, and you can actually hear some of them chatting in the background a little bit a easier. A lot better, yeah. So you actually get some more uh, of the ride itself, which is kind of cool. Yeah. So. That was great. It was great. I'm glad we got to ride. Um, yeah, I was a little worried. The question then. is, what are we gonna do now? It's not quite lunchtime. The booths aren't quite open yet. Nope. And we did do all the shopping we wanted to do. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this to you a second ago, but I'm gonna mention it again. I am surprised to see that the Figment Lounge Fly is completely MIA. Yeah, it's, I can't, I, I didn't see it. I mean, we're gonna have to take a little quick walk through this creation shop just to see if we actually might have missed yeah, it or something. Yeah, it's definitely not at the Imagination nope. Institute shop thing, um, Image Works or whatever. But that's not, that's not uncommon. Sometimes Figment stuff isn't actually in the Figment shop. I don't know, I don't know. But we didn't see it our first go around in creation shop but we have to check again because I at least wanted to see the bag I don't know if I'm gonna get it I have like this mixed feeling right now when it comes to lounge flies like they're really cute La like I like lounge flies I like to use them and I like to have the ones that I like but I don't feel like I need them no we've never I don't think we've ever actually been like we need this no bag. I'm not like a collector mm -mm. I have collected some but I'm not a collector I use every single lounge fly yeah, and we I actually got. get them more for the colors. So you yeah, get or, them or because I like the character, you know? Mm -hmm. Like I have Toronobog, I have Maleficent, I have, you know. Let's be honest, that's my bag. That Toronobog bag's my bag. Well, I mean, you buy a lot of bags that you just want me to wear. Because <laughs> well, you like them. Well, I always walk from behind anyways. I see your back, you know, you might as well have a nice backpack on. Why yeah, not? But yeah, I didn't see that one. Mm -mm. So we'll have to keep an eye out. But I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do next. We'll discuss and we'll let you know as soon as we figure it out. Okay, we've decided on one more stop into Creation Shop to see if we can find this Figment Lounge Fly. I... not holding my breath. But, we'll take another look. One more look. Look at the giant Stitch and Angel. I love them. I know, aren't they great? They're huge. Hold on, they're actually over here. We'll take a closer look. Right here. Look at the size of this Stitch. He's only $70. 70. Oh, that's not bad. Look at him. I feel like we might need him. Oh, I would totally buy that. Are you kidding me? Let's see what else we got. They have a the old school water game. I know, you know, we've seen this before. I've showed our friends out there in the YouTube world. I like it's that so cute. it doesn't come filled with water. You have to fill it yourself. Yeah. So you can travel with this. Yeah. I think this is cute. It's Donald's like boathouse. It's 20 bucks. That's not bad. Not bad at all. And a nice little compact guess who, which not is Disney also characters. Really, yeah, that's a cute one. How much is this? That one is only 20 also bucks. 20 bucks. That's not and bad. And then Yahtzee. Oh, this is the good one. And I have, think that this is pretty cool because it does have cups that are decorated. It's the theme parks. Like the theme parks. I would get it just for the cups. Yeah, so you have Epcot right there. There's a kingdom. Hollywood Studios. Yeah. And Animal Kingdom. Really cool. How much is this one? A little bit more expensive. 44. 44 for that one. Okay. But I, I think that's I think that's okay. I also think that this is pretty cool because if you're here on a day where you got a lot of rain and you want to have something to play with. You know, maybe it's hurricane season, you can have a souvenir and it's a baseball. something to play with. I know, isn't that cool? That's cool. $14 and it's in a cute little tin. And honestly, I would take the baseball out of the tin and put something else in the tin. Right? Cool stuff. All right. Back on track. Looking right. for this figment. Getting distracted again. That's all right. An actual red kickball dodgeball. Oh, the beatings we used to take. I know. Did you see the Baymax? I did not. What are you talking about? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so He's a dude. Look how cute he is. Okay, he is $30. I feel like his feet need to be bigger though. To compensate for I don't how know, he's big. got a pretty tiny head. Yes. That is so cute. Of course, all of these are really cute. We do 
love these big feet plushes. And then they just have regular plushes over here as well. Oh no, hold on. Look at the tail. He's so fluffy. <laughs> He's just so cute, man. Do you need that? I mean, it is your birthday. Oh man. Should we get it for him? So cute. $29.99. The Rex is so cute too. They're all cute, let's be honest. They are They're really cute. cute. They're all we cute. have Figment at home. We have a Figment. So there's one Figment in this store, but will we find the Figment we're looking for? We'll see. Yeah, but that, that Bigfoot Donald is better than the regular Donald. Yeah, what's up with his lips? He kissed the bumblebee. Clearly. Russ spotted this really pretty snow globe. Here's what it looks like. Unshooken. Unshooken. And then here we have like super sparkly and beautiful. That's forty dollars, so thirty nine ninety nine. Also, travel advisory. Just a heads on this up. one because you can't travel with a snow globe, but you can ship it. So you can still get it home even if you're traveling. Let's see. I'm seeing a huge lack of the color purple over here. So definitely no figment backpacks in there. They came and went. Anyway. It's all right. Anyway, I'm gonna go check out the new Moana area real quick. See if we can sneak a peek before our preview here in a little bit. Of course, I say here in a little bit, but I don't mean today. Yeah. Oh, I we mean can't go that way. That's we can't even go through right no, now. No, I guess not. Oh. Well, okay. Guess we won't. We won't be able to sneak a peek. Huh. Special event check-in. Yeah, they're doing the whole check-in. They're doing the previews. Yeah, we'll have to wait until... We're not allowed in. Let's try to even let us out that way. I know. <laughs> have to wait <laughs> a couple weeks until we can preview ourselves. Didn't stop. Yeah. Check out what we spotted. First of all, this set is absolutely adorable. And it's $34.99. Well, we have all day. And then, speaking of pirates, we do have this new pirates starter pin trading starter set. Yeah, because here's the old one. This one is $39.99. Super cute. Here's the old one. Which one do you like better? I don't know. How I much think is they're that both one? pretty cute. $39.99 as well. Yeah. I don't know. This one's pretty cute. I know. I like that, but this is stealing the show in my opinion. Check this out, this is new as well. I think this is a really cool pin because it's a countdown to Halloween. Yep. And it's only $34.99, which is not bad at all. They have a new Winnie the Pooh set, mystery set. What does that look like? A little hard to see. A little, little, little bit of sayings and stuff like that. I don't know if you can see, oh, there you go. That's cute. I like the Eeyore one. What is it saying? I can't. Can't it's read little, it, it's so small. Yeah, so like one of them is like, you know, thanks for it looks like thanks for noticing me. And then the other ones, we all have a little we all have our little ways. So I don't know. <laughs> They're cute little phrases. Yeah. Lots of cool stuff in here. Yeah. Looks like we have some cute pins here in this case as well, including this Halloween set that you can buy individually or as a full oh, gotcha. set. It's like they're carving jack-o'-lanterns. Oh, actually, Hades isn't available on his own. These are really cute, these darlings, by the way. And then they have the bobblehead dancing Disney pin set, which I think is super cute. All right, so. We got the Darkwing Duck pin. I'm really to. excited. I have to get that for you. It's super cute. And I like Darkwing Duck. I love Darkwing Duck too. Like, as much as I love them, I know you love them actually more than I do. And it's just, it's part of our childhood, what can I say? Absolutely. You know? And I like that set, it's an interesting set. I wouldn't buy the whole thing. I know that there are some people who collect pins and they'll buy an entire set. Um, no, and I respect that. I, I collect pins. Yes, it's a very pokey bush. It's a wet bush. <laughs> um, I like collecting pins that I want. I don't necessarily need an entire set. I want the characters I want and stuff like that. Yep. But anyway, I think this about does it for our trip to Epcot today. It was really just a quick one. We wanted to ride Pause with Rewind. We wanted to do some shopping. I'm a little surprised about the Figment backpack. 
I'm a little surprised by it. And like in my, the first thing I wanted to say was maybe it's at Disney Springs, which is Figment's you know, never at Disney Springs not except for like wrong. sleeping Figment, and that's like it. Yeah. Maybe mm. a plushie at best. I don't know. And even then, there's rarely, he's rarely outside the parks. But it's been weird because like merchandise has been weird. I know this is a conversation we've been having. Oh, Goofy is, is taken off with a guest over there. I know that this is a conversation we've been having kind of on and off, but merch can be difficult when it comes to finding merchandise, when it comes to keeping track of merchandise and getting your hands on it once it's been released. Sometimes, sometimes, you can pull up at a shop and grab the piece of merchandise that you've been looking for, but more often than not, it moves around and sometimes they only have limited stock for a limited time, then it comes back later. We've seen this with those plush figment hats. You know, like they released, I came out as soon as they released, couldn't find them. And then it was weeks later that we right. saw them again and then it was weeks later that they started to have a ton of stock. So that's an example. Another example is that peace sign, like crew neck sweatshirt. I never yeah. saw that. Breaks my heart. You wanted I didn't that, see that so bad. And well, I, I love mean, that I stuff. thought it was really cute. I definitely was considering it. Yeah. But um, I know that like resellers got their hands on some and it became a, a hot item. So it's an example of even if you're here all the time, you live here, you're looking, you might not necessarily find the merchandise yep. that you're looking for. So that's why I always say like you have to be careful when you're watching videos, when you're seeing people post. Sometimes people don't post it exactly when they saw it. Sometimes videos take a little bit of time to edit and then post. But also, even if you see something and you're here same day, you might have a hard time finding it. So it's always important to keep that in mind when you're visiting, you know? Yeah, and I mean, there's even sometimes when we're just nonchalantly going through an area and we see brand new stuff that nobody's talked about. Yeah. Like those pins. That new, those new pin sets, no one's talking about I haven't heard anyone those. talking about those. No, those are brand spanking new, is what it is. But yeah, the, Disney's definitely switched to a no announcement Yeah, style, they just kind of like throw it out there. Merch, which is fine. Which is also good. It gives because, everyone else a chance. Yeah, because sometimes there's a struggle when it comes to resellers. That also reminds me, if you see a piece of merchandise that you want, I encourage you to buy it when you see it. Yeah. This is something we've talked about as well, kind of on and off. I know there are a lot of people who they're like, we'll get it at the end of the day. I don't want to lug it around. Just get it. You can always return it. I always recommend that because there is a return policy here at Disney. So if you don't want a piece of merchandise, you want to swap it out for a different size, for example, you can definitely do that. Mm -hmm. There are some stipulations. So ask a cast member when you check out, if you're not sure. You have to be worried about things like magic bands. You can't return or exchange those. But for the most part, when it comes to merchandise, you can return it so if you realize you didn't want it you found something else you wanted you can you can do that but if you don't get it when you see it there's a really good chance you won't see it again whether it's later today or a couple days from now so keep that in mind too it's not that we're telling you to just buy stuff willy-nilly but if there's something you truly want for your trip just don't wait well and i see people all the time who like they're in love with something and it's the beginning of the day and they're like we'll come back for it later you might not be able to yeah. so just just keep that in mind if it's something you really really like you don't want to lug it around put it in a locker yeah 